This app is making over $240 every single hour and I will copy the entire app without writing a single line of code. The craziest part? My AI agent did all the heavy lifting while I just told him what I wanted to build. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I used AI to clone one of the most successful coin identification apps on the App Store, complete with premium features and Stripe payment integration to make money right away. And this isn't some basic app either. It has all the functionality of Coinin, the popular coin scanning app that is making serious money right now. What I'm about to share could completely change how you think about app development. I've discovered what might be the most powerful AI coding tool available right now. And it allowed me to build this entire app without any coding knowledge. Wow, most people are spending months learning how to code or hiring expensive developers. I built this in a fraction of the time with just a few prompts. And I have tested many no-code and AI tools over the past months, but nothing comes close to what this AI agent can do. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to replicate my process to build your own money-making app, even if you have never coded before. I will walk you through every step from idea to launch, including how to settle the payment system that makes this business model so profitable. All right, so we are going to build the app in Replit. You will get free $10 worth of credits if you use my link in the description. Let's be real. Most of us have stumbled across some old coin at one point and thought, is this worth anything? Or maybe you've got a handful of coins from travel or your grandparents' collection and no idea what half of them are. But that's exactly where this feature comes in. Instead of digging to through forms or scrolling Google images, the app lets you take a quick photo and get instant answers right there on your screen. Let's kick things off with this prompt. We will be building a coin scan identifier app. The primary feature is the photo based coin identification. Allow users to take photos of coins to get instant identification with the help of Gemini API. Replit immediately kicks things off by asking you to confirm the app plan. You'll notice it lists a bunch of helpful features. Go ahead and check everything. It knows what it's doing and saying yes here just saves you time later. Then it asks me for a Gemini API key. If you don't have one yet, just Google get Gemini API key. The setup is super simple. You'll be copy pasting in seconds. Once everything's wired up, the core functionality starts coming together. Users can now upload a photo or use their phone camera to scan a coin. And that image gets sent directly to the Gemini API for identification. Now heads up. Replit takes a bit of time while it builds out the structure. Just be patient and let it do its thing. Because as you can see here, once it's done, we have a clean working flow that takes coin photos and returns instant results. Before diving deeper into the app features, I wanted to make sure the first thing you to see actually makes sense. No one likes opening an app and being dropped into a blank screen. Let's send Replit this prompt. Provide a nice landing page with an overview of the features we will have. The file upload should also be more prominent for this one. Replit immediately started generating a clean layout. At the top, we've got a hero banner with the app name and the short tagline, just enough to explain what this tool does at a glance. Below that, it lays out the core features using icons with hover animation, which makes everything feel a little more polished and interactive. One of the most important changes here is making the image upload button way more noticeable. Instead of hiding it in a corner, it's now front and center. Big, bold and impossible to miss. That way, users can start scanning coins right away without hunting through menus. Now, at this point, we were still focused on the look of the app, so the actual image analysis is not working yet. But this is actually intentional, since I wanted the interface to feel smooth and intuitive first before layering in the logic. Along the way, we can observe here a few UI issues like misaligned sections and some fonts that just didn't match. Instead of digging through the code manually, we can just ask Replit to fix the layout and make the design responsive. It cleaned everything up fast, adjusting spacing, balancing typography, and even making sure it worked well on both desktop and mobile. Once that is sorted, let's go back to improving the image upload flow. At first it was a mess. The preview didn't show properly, orientation was off, and certain file types like weird camera formats would crash the upload. Let's send Replit a few specific prompts. Fix orientation issues for uploaded images. Allow only JPEG, PNG, 
and WEBP lock on supported types and show an error if the file is too large. After a few rounds, it is finally working. Now the app handles upload smoothly, gives instant previews, and even provides helpful messages when something goes wrong. After setting up the basic identification, I want the app to do more than just tell you what a coin is. People usually want to know if it's rare, where it's from, how much it's worth, or even what it's made of. Let's make it happen through this prompt. The next feature is a comprehensive coin database, including country of origin, denomination face value, year minted, metal composition, historical context, current market value worth estimate, rarity assessment. Some features are already currently implemented, but optimize it all and make it better. Replit starts expanding the output with way more detail. Now, every time a coin is scanned, it shows the country of origin, the face value, the year it was minted and even what metals it's made from like copper nickel or silver you also get a short historical note about the coins background an estimated market value and a rarity scale that goes from common to extremely rare some of these were already showing up earlier but not in the cleanest way the order was all over the place a few icons didn't load and sometimes fields were just blank to fix this we can ask replit improve the layout and structure of the database output then follow Follow up with ensure all coins display with complete metadata that fixes it everything gets cleaned up and the display actually feels polished you scan a coin and you get the full picture no more guessing if that old coin in your drawer is junk or something worth holding on to most people don't scan a coin just to see what it is they want to remember it track it maybe even build a full collection over time so I want to add a feature that turns the app into a personal catalog. Let's use this prompt. The next feature to focus on is the collection management. Users can catalog their coin collection with custom notes, organization options, and tracking features. You can see here that Ruplet added a new feature that lets users save any scanned coin to their personal collection. Each coin entry supports custom titles, personal notes, and tags. So you can sort your coins by material, condition, or error. There's even a dashboard style layout that makes browsing through saved coins easy and visual. You can also mark coins as favorites, sort them by year, or estimated value and revisit the full scan details anytime. It feels like having your own little digital coin binder, except it's searchable and way more organized. At first, saving entries was a bit hit or miss. Some coins wouldn't show up later or notes wouldn't save correctly. We can fix that by telling Replit to double check the database setup and fix how it links entries to each user account. Once that's sorted, you can observe that everything starts syncing properly. Now. Each user gets their own collection, fully tied to their account with every detail saved and ready to go. If users are going to save scans, build collections and come back later, they need a way to log in. Let's make that happen by sending the prompt. Add user authentication next. Obviously, users should have separate histories and collections. Replit handles this using its built-in auth component. Users can now register with an email and password, log in and have their scan history and coin collection tied directly to their our account they can log out come back later and everything's still there no data loss no weird session bugs this step is important not just for keeping collections private but also for enabling future features like premium upgrades or community tools styling on the login page is a bit rough at first and session persistence doesn't always hold up so i asked replit to clean up the ui and fix session handling a couple of quick prompts later everything works smoothly once the core features are solid i'm thinking about what makes people actually stick around most collectors love sharing what they find getting second opinions or just talking shop let's ask ripple to add another feature it's working now next add community features there should be forums or social features where collectors can connect also make sure users have separate histories and collections replit builds out a basic community section where users can post their latest finds ask for help identifying tricky coins, or even share trade offers and collecting tips. Each post is tied to the user's profile and the interface feels like a lightweight form with thread comments, timestamps, and support for image upload. To make navigation easier, Replit adds new header links for both the community and subscription pages. Everything feels connected and jumping between your personal collection and the community feed is smooth. It's simple, but it adds a whole new layer to the app. One where users aren't just scanning coins, but actually connecting with each other. By now, the app isn't just functional, it's actually useful.
you can scan, save, organize, and even connect with other collectors. So it feels like the right time to offer a premium tier for people who really want to go deeper. Let's send the prompt. Next, implement Stripe to provide premium subscriptions for users. Reblit sets up the Stripe integration and connects it to the user accounts. Now, for $9.99 a month, users can unlock premium features like unlimited scans per day, advanced coin data, including historical events and changes in numismatic value, access to verified community posts, and extra collection tools like export and cloud to backup. You can see here a premium badge is also added to the user dashboard. And and the subscription screen gets a polished upgrade with a clean modern layout at first stripe has a few issues subscription plans aren't syncing correctly and webhook validation keeps failing to fix that we can just ask replit to retry the subscription logic using updated session token and that will clean it up from there everything runs smoothly users can now upgrade cancel or manage their plans without any problem. Even with AI doing most of the heavy lifting, things still break and they break off throughout the build. I run into a bunch of issues. File upload fields don't trigger. The Gemini API returns incomplete results. User collections randomly stop saving and Stripe webhooks fail without any warning. Most of these are easy to fix with follow-up prompts. Here, I'll teach you how just describe what's happening whether it's a crash a missing value or a ui bug and replit usually figures it out on the next try in a lot of cases it doesn't just fix the problem it improves the entire feature along the way there's no real secret to it just consistent testing clear prompts and not being afraid to try something again when it doesn't work the first time that's what keeps the build moving forward it's easy to assume building something like this takes months of of coding or a full dev team but all it really took was a clear idea a few smart tools and the willingness to keep prompting until it worked every feature came together step by step just by describing what i wanted fixing what broke and refining until it felt right that's the power of building with ai right now you don't need to wait until you know enough you can start with what you have and figure the rest out as you go catch you in the next one